It is appointed unto men once to die, and after this, the judgment. That's Hebrews 9, 27. It is appointed, mm, appointment. You ever broke one? This is one you can't break. Okay, no matter what you do, man, you can miss the dental appointment, you can miss the beauty parlor appointment, you can miss the doctor's appointment. But I want to tell you, the appointment with death, you ain't got, you ain't got no control over it. God has a time set for you. Now, I'm standing and I'm preaching to you from a massive cemetery. And this cemetery is hundreds of years old. And I was walking around this, this cemetery a few minutes ago and just reading some of the graves. And one of them said, he's washed my sins away. Glory be to God. You know, stones like that, I'm going, this is good stuff. Now, I want to tell you what I want on mine. On mine, I want a little button that you can push. And I want... I want, on my tombstone, I want to be able to say, thank you, friends, so much for tuning into this broadcast. And I want to share with you right now what Jesus has done for me. Oh, yeah, I've gone on, and you're standing over my grave. But I'm not here. I'm with Jesus. And I just want to preach a little bit, okay? It, wouldn't it be great if God came up to you and said, and he said, uh, Sammy, in uh, two and a half minutes, uh, you're going to cough three times and roll over dead. Okay, wouldn't that be awesome? Wow, two and a half minutes. Wow, Jesus, uh, I'm sorry. I've been doing what I've been doing. And you know that bottle of uh, whiskey in the refrigerator, Lord? That's just for guests. No, it's not for guests, Jesus. I've been drinking it. I'm sorry. And you just, you repent and you get right with God and let him wash you away, wash your sins away, and then you go on to be with Jesus. Wouldn't that be marvelous? Okay, like a two and a half minute warning? Ain't gonna happen, my friend. When it's over, it's over. And you know, you may see me chuckling when I'm saying this is, I live in a real life. I preach funerals all the time. And I wonder in this cemetery that, are, that, that is the, the, the resting place of thousands of people, I wonder how many of them uh, were ready. Let me tell you, I'm gonna read your future right now. You're gonna, oh, die one day. Oh, stand before God. And when you stand before God, there's going to be a judgment. You're going to stand in the courtroom of heaven. Every man, woman, and child that's listening to this broadcast, you are going to face the same God that everyone in this cemetery faced. You're going to stand before the Lord. And the righteous judge who knows every detail of your life there is nothing hidden, and I want to speak to somebody right now. There's somebody watching this broadcast, and you think you got away with something. But my friend, you haven't gotten away with anything. Oh, he knows what's gone on behind closed doors. Okay, you haven't gotten away with murder. You haven't gotten away with adultery. You haven't gotten away with some type of, of, of evil, wicked thing that you've done, that embezzlement. You haven't gotten away with anything. There's always three witnesses, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. You have not gotten away with a thing. And the Bible says one day your sins will be shouted from the housetop. I'm telling you right now, God is watching you. He knows what's going on. It's time for you to bow your head right now and repent of your sin and ask Jesus Christ to change you. Yes, I'm sidetracking right now in this broadcast, but really I'm not. This is really what God wants to do. I'm slipping away from my message, speaking straight to you, my friend. You want to be ready for that final day? You better get ready right now. You want to, get, you, you want to be right before you get into the courtroom. Okay, you don't want to get right in the courtroom. You want to get right right now. Ask Jesus Christ to change you. Pray with me right now. Say, Jesus. Say it out loud. Say, Jesus, I repent of my sins. Wash me, Jesus. Make me new. Be my Savior. Be my Lord and my very best friend. In your precious name, in Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer and you were serious, Jesus Christ has literally changed your destiny. The Bible says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man goes to the Father but through me. The Bible also says, if you confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive you your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. You're heaven bound. And what I want you to do is log on to our website, stevehill.org. You're going to see it on the screen. Download the Serious About God. Push that little button on the homepage. Visit our website, push the button, Serious About God, and download that to help you grow in the things of God. 
okay? I'm proud of you, sir. I'm proud of you, ma'am. And we got cameras all over this cemetery right now. We got all kinds of bodies around here shooting at me, you know, with these cameras. And uh, if you can see what's going on behind us, it'd blow your mind, okay? But you know something? If I went, oh, ah, and fell over, my, my producer, Steve King would go, well, that's a wrap. <laughs> he goes, boy, that's a good ending. You know, it, it was, it was a, man, that was an awesome program. It was last, but it was an awesome program. No, you know, there, there, I'm sure there'd be some mourning going on, but boy, I'd be one happy camper. Okay, and you know, they would, if anybody asked me, any of these guys here about, you know, uh, what was it like working with Steve Hill, they'd say, man, all he cared about was souls. All he cared about was getting people into heaven. All he cared about was populating heaven and, and empty in hell. Okay, and that's what this is all about. I'm trying to prepare you for the judgment. If you've just joined this broadcast, we're talking about a scripture that says, it is appointed unto man once to die and after that the judgment. Okay, you will stand before God on that final day and be held accountable for your sins. Just like everyone behind me, whether they're from the 1700s, 1800s, 1900s, or last week, every single man, woman, and child that's in this cemetery and cemeteries all over the world live what I'm talking about. Everyone, because you don't ever die. No one ever dies. All you do is pass on from this tabernacle this natural life into the eternal life, into the spiritual life. So you're going to die. You've got to prepare for judgment. Get ready. I live ready to die. I think it was Jim Elliott that said one time, when it comes time to die, he was a great missionary statesman that died down in South America. He said, when it comes time to die, make sure that's all you have to do.